Te parece poco que te quiero, te parece poco que te amo. Ya, ya tú sabes, mi gente, es la voz de la juventud, el único, el nene del ritmo y amargue. Mandándole un saludo a mi gente de BTV, Something to Watch. Tú me sientes ah, o algo futurístico. Parece poco que te quiero, te parece poco que te amo, te parece poco que te pienso, te parece poco que te extraño, te parece poco. Bienvenidos mi gente and welcome to another episode of Vet TV. I'm your host Lion. And I'm Coco. And last week we had a fantastic show. We got up with DMX the dog. We saw some exclusive lines, fashion from the shop in Chicago and we talked to some really... What's going on? Nothing. Okay. We talked to really important people in Chicago Latin Theater, and this week is no different. We're bringing you guys the fire, the hotness, straight from our... Coco, why can't you stand still? I'm excited. Why? Toby Love! Oh my so Vet TV caught up with Bachatazo de la Calle. We talked to three of the hottest bachata acts. We talked to Grupo Optimo, Carlos y Alejandra. And Toby Love! And Toby Love. Uh, group of the most best to check them out. Is that a Toby Love? Yeah. Scarlito. I made it myself. Oh, come on. It's cute. The day has arrived. It's September 11th. It's time for some bachata. We're here at Bachatazo at the Congress Theater. We're going to check out Carlos Alejandra, Toby Love, and Optimo. I'm going to ask them all the exclusive questions. Everything you wanted to know is going down today. I'm not afraid to ask them anything. I saw your Facebook questions. I might choose some of them, so keep it locked and see if I chose your question. See you soon. Just plays the stage, they did a terrific job. I got them out here to talk to me a little bit. All right, guys, so there's a lot of different types of bachata. How would you describe Optimo Bachata? Bueno, yo creo que la bachata de Optimo viene siendo una música optimista, una música dramática, una música de, de lo que pasa el día, de día a diario, lo que le pasa a él, a ella y a todo el mundo. So, todo el mundo tiene algo que ver con lo que nosotros cantábamos. Ya. Otra pregunta, antes cuando salió Optimo primeramente, fue otro integrante, otra persona que estaba en el grupo, ¿qué, qué pasó ahí? Sí, habían dos integrantes, desafortunadamente eh, MJ siempre ha tenido su sueño de ser bombero y nosotros con, con su decisión, nosotros flexiblemente lo dejamos a que hiciera su cosa y aunque él te va en contrato con nosotros, pero eso nosotros lo que hicimos fue, oye, le dimos un para que él haga lo, sus sueños, porque nosotros pensamos de que como optimistas que somos, no podemos cerrarle los sueños a nadie y si eso fue lo que él decidió, amén. Eh, Ney tuvo un bebé y decidió quedarse full time de daddy, that's very touchy. That's But very okay. good too. What's new? What's the new project? What are we pushing? ¿Qué es lo que está ahorita mismo? Bueno, ahora mismo estamos trabajando en el tercer álbum que se llama Amor de Guerra. Amor de Guerra. Quiero darle un poquito de una explicación. Amor de Guerra. Porque ya que el amor de hoy en día hay que, hay que sacrificarse mucho para saber si sí o no si esa persona te quiere a ti por quien tú eres o por quien fuiste. Hey, tú tienes que esconder a veces tus sentimientos y demostrarle a esa mujer de que la guerra es de que tú te vas a quedar con ella para siempre. ¿Ve? Entonces tú tienes que demostrarle a ella de que la verdad tú la quieres. Entonces cada canción, cada título, cada verso, cada instrumento que esté tocado en ese álbum es always for the ladies. You heard it first. Always. You heard it first. Always for the ladies. Thanks guys. Gracias por hablar con nosotros, hablar con BTV. Y gracias, gracias a ustedes, BTV, por la oportunidad, por la entrevista. Y thank you to all the fans. Por el apoyo. Gracias. Y siempre con Dios. That's right. And keep it locked here with BTV. My name is El Motro y yo soy la calle, papá. And ya sabes, mi gente, que estás watching the TV. Right here with Chica La Huere Sabrosa de La Picosa. I just saw an amazing show of Bachatazo. I saw Carlos Alejandra, the uh, newest sensation in Bachata. So you guys missed a good show, but we got, got good footage for you. I have a couple questions for you guys. All right, Carlos, you're from the Bronx? 
Yes, I am from the Bronx, but I currently uh, live in Massachusetts, so I'm representing the Bronx and Boston at the same time. And, and you're from Boston? Yes, I was born and raised in Boston, so yeah, I love Boston. Also, like, a lot like Chicago. So if you're from the Bronx and you're from Boston, how did you guys meet? How did you guys come together? Yeah, we met uh, four, almost four, well, no, four years ago, right? In 2006, we met, but it was um, because of our record label, our independent record label in Boston uh, from Unsa Record, and um, we both were soloists at the beginning, but we had the same record label now, and then the president of the record label one day heard us and was like, I would like to experiment a little bit with your voices and with the bachata, which was something that was very popping at the moment, no? so um, so that's how we met and we decided to, to join Carlos Alejandra. You came from pageants and, and doing all kinds of stuff, you do everything. How is music different than, than everything else you've been doing? Because you've been successful at everything. I'm a little jealous. That, so she's, well, how was it like to go the transition from, from doing that to doing music? Yeah, well, it's something great. And ever since I was little, I've always loved everything that I had to do, you know, with the modeling, acting, singing. Um, I was always into the arts, very into the arts. Yeah, so what do you think is the the future of bachata now with with you know you guys and with Prince Royce and then also with all these other new artists I mean for me I mean there's so much more to come but you can definitely see this is like the starting point of a, of a long way up um, you know bachata came from Dominican Republic where it was considered like a canción de barra it was like low class music low class. and now like we're playing on the radio next to Enrique Iglesias Camila and all those guys so like I feel very proud to be part of that movement I thank you so much guys you guys killed it today I was having so much fun VTV keep it locked it's only us it's Carlos y Alejandra keep it locked on VTV something to watch algo de ver What's up, everybody? In VTV Landia, this is Lion, and this is your question of the week. So we've been talking about bachata all day. So where is bachata? Is it just starting and getting hot, or is it kind of fizzling out and dying? We want to know. Hit us up at info at myvtv.com, or here, comment us at myvtv.com, Facebook, Twitter, you got it all. Hit us up. Let us know. What's up, everybody, and welcome to Bajalo. If you can't see it on TV or hear it on the radio, you can find it here on Bajalo. So let's get right into it. This next song is a brand new hit from Aventura's very own Max Jen. And my very own brothers, Miguel and John Q in Miguel Watch out. Hope you like the video. Now it's time for a song that I can't seem to get out of my head. Stereo Love by Toby Love. was a complete success. Grupo Optimo and Carlos Alejandra ripped it on stage and they were so much fun to talk to. I bet they were. And now the moment you guys have all the moment that she has been waiting for. Toby Love. Toby Love. Here, I'm here with one of the pioneers of urban bachata, the king of the crunk chata, Mr. Toby Love, the man of the hour. Homegirl Coco, doing your thing. I'm glad to see you doing your thing. Shot Town, you already know. Girl doing her thing right here. Thank you, thank you. I know you're working on a new album. 
So, that. what's the process? I know you've been to Miami, to New York, you've been oh, everywhere recording. How's that been? It's crazy. Tú sabes, cada vez que nosotros entramos en un estudio, like I always say, we always go in and break night. You know, I get the Red Bulls going, I get the Sunflower Seeds, and this album is coming out crazy. You know, gracias a Dios y gracias a los fanáticos, you guys inspire me to do what I do. Alright, so I've heard uh, a couple of the songs. Okay. Exclusive? Yeah, I heard exclusive. some of the songs? Y'all don't know about <laughs> <laughs> And I think they're great. I love them all. Thank Every single one of them. Now, what makes this album different than the rest? Wow, this album is different than the rest because, like I said, I have a little bit of everything. Mucha gente no saben que yo soy músico, so, you know, I wanted to incorporate that in my music. I actually did a little percussion uh, on the album also. Produced, I did a lot of producing on this album, junto a Eddie Perez, um, which is my partner with Scarlito Entertainment. And it's just different because it's, you know, mucho más ritmo y amargue, llevando a la bachata para otro nivel, you know, it's the merengue stuff, you know, it's just a little bit of everything. Once you guys hear the album, you guys are going to know what I'm talking about, and it's, it's just crazy, you know? So besides this album, all albums, ever, 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 what is your favorite song that you've done? Or that you recorded, just your favorite song? You know what it is? Every song has a meaning, a different meaning. I think that Tengo Una Amor has to be like the biggest impact song in my life, because that's the, that's the song that took me to number one, you know, won me two billboards, got me nominated for a Grammy. So that's something that's real big. I always say that, that like Tengo Una Amor was like the, the step in the door. But, you know, like every song is definitely... Um, something special from you know for me every song each song because something has a different every song has a different meaning you know what I'm saying so and it's not at a different time uh, and exactly okay so you're a jet setter right you you're in Europe you were just in Europe you're just going Europe. back nosotros hicimos Europa lo vamos ahora para atrás por como dos semanas bueno tres semanas they just added a week you know si Dios quiere we just tour man it's gonna be crazy this year is just another thing like you guys are gonna see so. This is the year of the love. <laughs> it's Look. always the year of the love. We're always in love. That's what it is. It's all about the love, you know? No, I don't mean love. I mean, like, the love, yeah, right? <laughs> no, no um, with your, Europe, how does it feel to play bachata, which is, like, super Latin, super mm -hmm. Dominican? Mm -hmm. How does it feel to play bachata in Europe? In Europe, it's ridiculous. La bachata ha crecido, y como te dije, ahora me mito para mí. La bachata estás dominando, and I don't think that it's going to stop anytime soon, as long as you know, new talent comes out. Like, we got a new kid right now that's the rookie of the year. His name is uh, Prince Royce. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And much respect for him. And I hope that a lot of kids come out like that. Tu me entiendes? And they just keep on making the genre grow. That's what it's about. You know, taking things to the next okay. levels. So. Now, we're going to play a little game. We'll do a little something different. Let's do it. All right, word association. Huh? You ready? Word association. I say a word, you tell me what you think. That's ready? First word. Chicago. Love it. Bachata. Love it. Twitter. Huh? Twitter. 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 The best promotional kit that has come out in the year. Well, I don't know when it came out, but you know what I'm saying? It's a good promotional kit. I love Twitter. I love my fans on Twitter. Follow your boy, T.L. Scarlito. We'll put that at the bottom right here. T.L. <laughs> Scarlito. All right, so I hop. Eat it. <laughs> I swear he should be like the spokesperson <laughs> for I hop. All right. Wah, wah, wubsy. My son loves it. I stay watching Wawa Wubsy. Cookie. That's my that's what my son calls me. Cookie. So that's from Wawa Wubsy. I love it. He's the last one. Coco. My homegirl, the best, the number one, the one that's gonna take over the world. Ya tu sabe, like your boy La Voz de la Juventud. Toby loves so prepare yourself for that. Do you see why I love him? You, I mean there's no other reason why I shouldn't, right? All right, thanks Toby for joining Thank us. You, Thank you so much. You already know me, gente. It's La Voz de la Juventud representando with my homegirl Coco. Tu me siente. Keep it locked. Are you good? You okay? Yeah, Toby is definitely good people. He's such a great artist and entertainer and a phenomenal performer. He's one of the most down to earth people I've ever met and overall one of the nicest guys ever. Yeah, one of the nicest guys. He's awesome. Yeah. I mean, if, if he was such a good friend, would he, I don't know, pick you up at 4 o'clock in the morning from the airport? I don't know. <laughs> what? Would he, I don't know, babysit your kids? What? I don't have kids. Borrow you $1,000 a lo loco. What are you talking about? If I, if I had a shirt, would you wear it? No. Why not? Would you wear one of my shirts? Yes. Really? Mm-hmm. I would wear it shopping. I would, oh, my God. I would do oh my job God. interviews. Are you I would. That's today's show, guys. <laughs> big shout out to Rock 10, big shout out to Grupo Optimo and Carlos Alejandra and Toby Love! To Toby Love. From us to you, this it's is the TV. I am.
And I'm Coco. Thanks for watching Red Velvet. Something to watch.